Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome to our show, Diet Myths. Today we're going to be talking to you about a very interesting topic, and it's these diet pills that everyone's going crazy about. I'm sure you've all given up with this battle of weight loss and weight gain, and you just want to do it and lose weight fast. So I want you to take a look at all these medications you see, all these weight loss pills and their claims. And I want you to listen carefully to what we're going to be talking about today because it will help give you an insight on which ones you should choose and what you should do. The appeal of losing weight quickly is hard to resist, but do weight loss pills work anymore? And are they a safe option for weight loss? Ellie, one of the famous weight loss pills which you take up to three times a day with meals prevents you from digesting 25% of the fat you consume. The amount of fat calories blocked will be depend on how much fat you eat, but most patients block 100 to 200 calories per day. Weight loss questions aside, several diet drugs over the last decade have been associated with the serious heart problems. Buying supplements to help you lose weight is not the best use for your hard-earned money. Your foundation is a healthy diet and exercise. But some supplements can help fill nutrition gaps that will help your body function more efficiently. Even if you take a weight loss pill, you still have to eat fewer calories than your body uses in order to lose weight. And even if these products help you to lose weight initially, you will probably have to keep taking them to keep the weight off, which may not be practical or safe. The reality is there is no magic wand for losing weight. The most effective way to lose weight is and keep it off through lifestyle changes. Eat healthy, low-calorie food, watch portion size, and be physically active. It's not magic, but it works. These diet drugs work only if you also change your lifestyle. And that means following the same old advice of dieting and exercising. First, I want you to think about this. These weight loss medications fall into two different classifications. One is a non-prescriptive drug. So that means this is a drug or medication that's sold on the counter. You can just go pick it up and you don't need a prescription. The doctor doesn't need to write you a note for you to get it. These drugs have to go through the FDA regulation. The FDA is the Food and Drug Administration in the US. And what they do is they look at these medications that people want to, or these companies want to market and they see if there's any scientific backing to them. So they'll look at the research being done to prove that this medicine or this um, drug actually does what it claims to do. Now, with these non-prescriptive drugs, the trials or the research being done has to have been done on humans. You can't do it on things like rats. They're very picky on the study, which is a good thing and it's a benefit to you, the consumer. Now another type of drug is the dietary supplement. So this is a supplement and anytime any company has a product and they market it as a dietary supplement, the FDA says they don't need to regulate it as long as you make honest claims. Now I'm sure you're thinking as a company, we all want to make honest claims. So with an, a dietary supplement, you need to be very wary about which one you're picking because there is no regulation and sometimes not much scientific studies to, to like make a basis or make that like a strong supplement. I want you guys to stay tuned because we're going to be talking about the famous dietary supplements and drugs out there and which ones you should watch out for. Welcome back our dear viewers. Now let's take a closer look at what's out there in the market and what you're probably considering taking but shouldn't. So the first drug that I really want to talk about is actually a non-prescriptive drug. So remember we said that these were drugs or medications that were actually approved by the FDA. The most popular one out there you probably know as Xenical or like the medical term Orlistat. Now what Xenical does is it blocks the amount of fat you eat from a meal. But don't get too excited, it doesn't block all the fat you eat. So you could be having a very high fatty meal, maybe burger and fries and you know some soda or any other thing with it. And what Orlistat or Xenical would do is it will block around one third of the fat you're eating in that meal. But if you think about it, the fat is blocked, you're not absorbing it in your body, it has to go somewhere. So one of the main side effects of Xenical is that you end up having greasy stools. 
and you need fat in your body. It's not something that you want to block the absorption of. Instead, you should limit the amounts of fat you're eating, choose healthier fats, and avoid the blocking process, which could have a lot of side effects. A lot of people have had greasy stools. Some people have actually had leakage. Other people, you know, have been like fatigued or tired. And of course, sometimes you also have vitamin deficiencies that show later on. So that's someone to be wary about. Another dietary supplement actually that I want to talk about is one that was heavily marketed by Dr. Oz and that's the raspberry ketone supplement. Now basically the raspberry ketone is a substance they've taken from the raspberry and they're what gives the raspberry its special aroma and now that supposedly metabolizes or helps you break down the fat faster. There has been no studies on this. We don't even know the side effect of this supplement so we definitely urge you to stay away because until there are studies and until there are things published to tell us what it does and what the mechanism is it's probably not a good idea. Now another one that I really want to talk to you about which is really popular in Kuwait is the Victoza drug. Now a lot of you are running to your physicians and asking them to get Victoza. It's an injectable medication that we use for type 2 diabetics and what it does is it lowers the amount of sugar in their blood. Now some people have seen weight loss. With this one you really need to be careful. It's not a drug that you want to get into. Stay tuned and we're going to be talking about a couple more drugs and ways to stay away from them. Welcome back everyone. Now let's take a look at a couple more supplements out there before we wrap it all up for you. Another one that I really want to talk about because it's so popular among these athletes is the conjugated linoleic acid, the CLA. Now a lot of athletes are going for this supplement because you know what, it just makes them more muscular. Let's take a closer look at what it is. Basically, it's a fat that comes from animal products and dairy. Now you can get it regularly by eating these animal products and having, you know, your dairy, your milk, your cheese and all these things. You don't really need to take a supplement to get the CLAs. Now what it does is supposedly it boosts your metabolism, it boosts calorie and it boosts the fat, or, or the fat breakdown in your body. Now if you can see, it just promises way too much. And the reason athletes take it is because supposedly science has proven or research has proven that it will boost the ratio of muscle compared to fat, which is what everyone's looking for. We all want more muscle compared to fat. But then again, you need to realize this is a supplement. So the FDA has not regulated it and it just expected that it would make honest claims on what the supplement is about. A lot of people have uh, noticed some side effects with it and this main scientific side effect that we've noticed is that the good cholesterol went down and the bad cholesterol actually went up, which is completely the opposite of what we want. So that's one you definitely have to stay away from. The last one I really want to talk about is this green coffee bean extract. Now green coffee bean is basically a coffee bean that just has not been roasted, so it's still green. And supposedly this will also help rev up like your metabolism of calories and of fats and it just breaks down and everything and it will make you lose weight. Now we all wish there was a magic or actually supplement that I just want you guys to stay away from. So now that we've gone through all of them, you've seen that all of them have their pros and their cons. And it's really smart to stay away from these things and stick to healthy habits. We always say good amounts of sleep, plenty of water and eating regularly and getting your body used to like a timely schedule of food is key to weight loss and exercise nothing can beat it just keep on exercising and you'll see those weight go away and drop we hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you guys soon <music>